positioning a vortex condensing boiler is, once again, similar to working with a grand non-condensing model. In this section, we'll again concentrate on those procedures specific to condensing boilers. Having checked the primary heat exchanger and baffles as normal, you move on to check the secondary heat exchanger. This unit contains a number of spiral baffles or turbulators. Simply check that these are in position and that the ends are vertical. Having now carried out normal checks on the burner nozzle and size, commence operating the boiler and, as usual, check the oil pressure and also for oil or water leaks. Next, using the test point on either the flue system or on the front cleaning door, you should check the smoke number. If this is satisfactory, using a combustion analyzer, check the CO2 in the flue gases. Then set the combustion air to the burner to achieve the level of CO2 specified in the installation instructions. Now recheck the smoke number to ensure the combustion is clean and check the flue gas temperature. Correct setting here is very important to achieve clean and efficient operation of the boiler. Before you leave, you must show your client how to operate the boiler and if you've fitted a sealed system, how they can check the system pressure and if necessary, how to top it up. And don't forget to leave with your client a completed Oftec CD10 installation completion report, a completed Oftec CD11 form or commissioning report and, of course, the user, installation and servicing instructions.